Just talk to each other for a minute here. A lot of people are working very hard out there. No, no, let's get right here. I just, I just want to. No, 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 Today I'm signing into law legislation that comes to grips with a problem that I think should touch every American's heart. During the last three decades, when tens of thousands of our airmen, soldiers, Marines, and sailors went to Southeast Asia and Korea to pre prevent aggression and protect the vital interests of our country, uh, a number of Ameri Amer Asian children were born. When the fathers returned to the United States far too often, Innocent children were left without parent or without a country. Through no fault of their own, these children have frequently lived in the most wretched of circumstances and often have been ostracized in the lands of their birth. And to, today, it gives me great pleasure to sign Senate Bill 1698, a major step toward facing up to the moral responsibility that we can't ignore. This good and humane land law, and it is that, recognizes the rightful claim of Amerasian children to American citizenship and permits their entry into our country after arrangements have been made for their care with the families or with private organizations. The sponsors of the legislation, Senator Jeremiah Denton and Congressman Stuart McKinney, deserve a special word of thanks for their efforts to reunite these children with those who will love and care for them. And also, my thanks to Father Alfred Keene, who worked so hard for this bill and really, indeed, brought it to the government's attention. Now, he isn't here, but his sister Judy is here. And with her, Julie and Scott Tripp were the adopted children of her sister. And we also have Eddie Che and Jeannie Che, who are students at Gonzaga University in Spokane. I'll bet they found out already that that's where Bing Crosby went to school. <laughs> Americans have always opened their hearts to those coming from distant lands to make a new life here, to live in freedom and to improve their lot. In this case, I think we should go a step further. Instead of saying, welcome to these children, we should say, welcome home. And now, I'm going to sign this bill and make it official. And I do so again with those pens that only write one word. Uh, make sure that it's the only place. There it is. It's all legal. take any questions here uh, on that. Let me just say what I, as I said over there, I think we had a very fruitful and successful meeting. Did you make any progress, sir? Uh, uh, yes. Nice. Nice. Oh, Thank you. pardon me. Oh, I hit you right in the face. That's all right. She won't wash that side of her face. <laughs> well. Thank you.
Timo is signing? Or? No, it's already been signed. <laughs> Can't unsign. We're going to try to keep you working. We have <laughs> Well, I guess I'm the man with the sign of the other man. Mr. President, I'd like to present you with this uh, copy of the interagency agreement that has been made between our agency, the Small Business Administration, and Steve's agency over here, the Housing and Urban Development uh, Agency, which recognizes uh, your new federalism program in involving uh, the federal, state, and local funds along with the private sector in producing new jobs, new opportunities over the next four years. Well. I thank you very much. This is good news. I'm delighted that HUD and Small Business Administration have formed this exciting project with 21 of our governors, one of whom is here, Governor Kit Bond of Missouri. I understand that this program can create thousands and thousands of jobs and leverage billions of dollars, several billions of dollars of investment capital into small business where most of the new jobs that we need will be created. Uh, in this country. Bill Verity, the chairman of the task force on the private sector initiative, has been looking into the area of how the federal government can work in connection with the private sector, and I know that he supports this effort 100 percent. In fact, Jay Moorhead, who runs the White House office on the private sector initiative, uh, and Bill Verity uh, are going to report soon to the cabinet on how the federal departments, the agencies, can become more creative and uh, in leveraging public sector funds uh, to the private sector. I also hope that 
The initiatives will stimulate states and local governments to find new and innovative ways to finance the uh, new and the businesses and business itself without looking to the federal government, those existing businesses. And uh, now I have another pearl, real pearl of good news for all of you in the country's economic recovery. Lower interest rates are the key to recovery, uh, key to jobs, the hope of all across America. And the chemical bank today has lowered the prime rate to 11.5%, the lowest level in 25 months. Uh, just before our administration took over, the prime rate, as you know, reached 21 and a half. And if you don't have, know that, you haven't been listening to me. That's the highest peak in more than a century. We've knocked down the punishing interest rates by nearly 50 percent for every family, whether their livelihood is in the farm or in home building, auto, steel, or retails. This is the kind of news that brings help, security, and opportunity. The prime rate comes down. Lower mortgage rates and loan rates for consumers are sure to follow. So I thank you all for this. I think it's a, a fine step in the idea of federalism. Yes, sir. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Mr. President. <coughs> Mr. President, thank you. Kid, Mr. President, thank you, sir. All right. On behalf of the uh, National Governors Association Committee on Community and Economic Development, which had asked uh, your administration to proceed with a small business economic revitalization program. We appreciate very much the next step in new federalism. Uh, I can say that uh, in our state, Missouri is one of the states that will be participating in this pilot project with the National Development Council. Uh, we believe that we can use the resources that this will make available to help us in implementing new financing programs to provide jobs. And that, of course, is our great need right now. The falling interest rate is probably the best news that we can have for jobs, but to know that we can work with uh, Housing and Urban Development on their UDAG and their uh, Community Development Block Grant programs and SBA on the 503 programs means that we can coordinate the resources available from the private sector uh, through state agencies and available federal programs to get uh, the most bang for our buck and provide the most jobs. So, uh, we look forward to making it work in Missouri. I assure you we'll do our best, and I know the other 20 states participating will make their best efforts to create the jobs that this program promises. Kit, right now when somebody from Missouri says that they'll do their best, uh, we've had an example of that just in the last <laughs> several days. Well, we bring, you, we bring you best wishes and greetings on behalf of uh, Gussie Bush, owner of the Cardinals, Whitey Herzog, and the, the whole, uh, the whole Whitey Ball team. They played uh, excellent ball, as did the Brewers, but uh, Missouri is very proud of the St. Louis Cardinals. And I called both managers after it was over. One was obviously happier than the other, but it was a great series. Well, they, they both, uh, Harvey Keene, had uh, nothing to be ashamed of. The Brewers uh, really gave the Cardinals fits. As Ozzie Smith said this morning, I saw him at the uh, at the airport leaving St. Louis, and he said at one point in the game, I thought we needed a bazooka to try to get a ball through the infield because <laughs> the, the Brewers were stopping everything. Uh, now, you say you brought something? Uh, yes, sir, if uh, they'll, uh, uh, if they'll allow us to. I just that. don't mean to be seen greedy or something, <laughs> but uh, I caught a glimpse they of They said they could bring it over at the appropriate I, I caught time. a glimpse of that over on that. Uh, this is, uh, hey, this is from, uh, this is from Mr. Bush. And, uh, and the Cardinal team and uh, all of the Cardinal fans, they're not limited to Missouri. They're uh, quite a few different states. We're very proud of our world champion, and well, we know you you're be. interested in it. Well, thank you very much. I'm very proud and happy to have this. My golly, they're making the uniforms classier than when I was broadcasting. Yeah, right. <laughs> Those look pretty good. I, I, the only problem, if you put it on, you'll have to try to steal home or at least uh, sque uh, suicide squeeze. You have to you have to play running baseball if you if you wear that jacket. I'll go for the squeeze. Okay. <laughs> Stealing isn't something <laughs> that goes with the job. <laughs> no, sir. Do you think you're Mr. in a squeeze in this election? What? Are you in a squeeze in this election? Yeah, but not steal. <laughs> <laughs> With all this good news, are you disappointed that the Arab leaders 